Thanks, Steve. Uh, a good win for us today. You know, a good team victory. Uh, you know, had a lot of contributions from um, all three units, offense, defense, special teams. There's, you know, a lot of good football. Obviously, you know, Buffalo's a very good team, quality team, very explosive. So, um, you know, came down to the last handful of plays. And, um, you know, fortunately this week we were able to make them. So, uh, good, you know, good day today. Um, still got a lot of work to do, things we can do better. But, um it's good to have those results. So, Bill, after um, Mac hit Ramondre and Bar Ramondre got down to the seven, you called your last time out. So you had first and goal at the seven, and Mac hit Pop Jones, popped a, a pop at the uh, one yard line. He did not get out of bounds, but you had the pass interference call, which stopped the clock. In retrospect, the way things went, how did that pass interference call just change the complexion of the end of the game? Yeah. Well, I mean, it is what it is. Kind of the same thing happened at the other end, you know, the penalties. I mean, look, the, there were flags. There were no flags. They picked them up. They threw them late. Uh, you know, I don't know. But, yeah, there's defensive penalty. It stops clock. That's what it is. So, you know, when you're on defense in those situations, penalties are never a good thing. And, uh, you know, we had them. They had them. It helps the offense. Hi, Bill. Um, what did you see from Mac Jones today, especially on that last two-minute drive? Um, well, I mean, it's, you know, got a good offensive drive, um, you know, a good, you know, good uh, run there by Ramondre and, you know, got up a lot of, you know, covered a lot of field, but, you know, made a good, Mac made a good check on the blitz, got it to the weak side to Parker and, you know, hit pop down there, you know, good throw for the touchdown. So, um, it was, you know, a lot of good football, pass protection. I mean, they were rushing, they were blitzing. So, we picked them up, we threw it, we caught it. It was good execution. Coach, you got Players making plays on both sides of the ball. Guys stepping up big time. But Peppers, he seems to come through for you week in and week out. How big is Jabril? Yeah, Peppers had a good year. Um, you know, very explosive player, hard tackler, a big, big play in the interception. That was a nice, you know, kind of. We got hit on that play against them last year, and um, you know, worked on it in practice, and you know, he played it well. Did a nice job, go up high, point the ball. Um, and we worked a lot on, uh, you know, Allen throwing the ball down the field. Uh, he had that one in the end zone. Seemed like he threw about 70 yards. I don't know how far it was, but it was JC broke it up down there. So it's kind of 50-50 deep balls. Um, you know, our, our tough. He's, I mean, he's got a big arm, and you know, he got good receivers. So, um, but yeah, Pep's, you know, Pep's been good for us, and you know, helped us in the kicking game as well. Um, didn't even mention offense and defense, but I thought we had, you know, I thought Chad, you know, it was a big kick there, a 49-yarder, and. Uh, punt return, you know, gave us good field position there in the first quarter. You know, covered kicks obviously a lot better than we did the last time we played them. So, uh, and punts, you know, thought you know uh, Bryce had a you know big field position swing there. So, you know, all the units contributed, and it's good to you know, good to have that. Thanks, Bill. Uh, first few games here at home this year, you guys started slowly. You were playing from behind, turnovers, that sort of thing. Today, you had the lead, ten nothing. You obviously had the turnover. What was the difference for your team here today? Yeah, well, I mean, we played well today, so there's still room for improvement. But, yeah, we'll see how it goes next time we play at home. I don't know. Bill, what factored in, into the decision to put Mike and Wainu at right tackle today, and is the plan to keep him there going forward? Uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll talk to Mike about it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Mike Reese in the back. Uh, Bill, what is your reaction uh, to becoming the third head coach with 300 wins behind uh, Don Shula and George Hallis? Um, I mean, it's great. I'm really more focused on you know our team in this year, and worry about that later. Thank you. Bill, I'm wondering how much a drive like the last drive today for your offense can help generate confidence in Mac moving forward for everybody, players, coaches. Staff. Yeah, I don't know. How about for you then individually? How much more confidence might you have in somebody when you see them execute? I have confidence in all our players. That's why we put them out there. I didn't have confidence. I moved them out there. So. Uh, on the other side, Pop had a lot more production today. Just what did you see from him after coming back from that concussion? 
Um, yeah, I mean, Pop's quick. Um, you know, he got some separation on, on a few routes, made a couple of tough catches. Um, you know, the seam pass was a good catch. He got held on the play action, the over route on the first drive, I think it was. Um, short yardage play. So, um, yeah, I mean, the big thing for all of us is just obviously offensively ball security um, from every person on the team. So, quarterbacks, receivers, running backs, tight ends, everybody who handles the ball. Um, if we can just take care of the ball, that'll help us a lot. And uh, so that's the number one thing for everybody. Uh, Bill, Matt gave a lot of credit to the offensive line today, just overall as a group. I'm just curious your thoughts about the blocking up front, two tight end sets, the change with Owenu. I'm just curious your thoughts on the overall performance up front today. Well, I think it was one of our most consistent offensive performances of the year. Um, you know, we had a couple long drives last week. You know, today, I don't know, we really punt a couple times. Uh, it wasn't very many, which was good. It's always a good thing. You know, one of the 10 punts against New Orleans or whatever it was. So, yeah, so we moved the ball. We scored points. We changed field position. Um, again, that's not one person. One person can't do it. You know, you have to have 11 guys working together. And, you know, Billy did a good job all week with the, you know, the game plan. Team went in there and played, you know, with good, good competitive level, better fundamentals, and better execution. So it's a good place to start. Thanks. Hi. Um, there's been a lot of discussion as of late about your contract extension. Is there anything you'd like to share with Patriots fans about where yeah, that stands? I never stands? talk about my contract. Focus on the game. Try to focus on Buffalo. Now I'll focus on Miami. Yeah, you count on that. Scott Zolak, the back? No. Thank so. <laughs> Could you, like, could you like lot a softball out there for me or something? I, just, like, I hit a single. Like I don't need to hit out of the park. But just kind of like, is softball me one? How angry were you to have to call timeout on the field goal? Yeah, that was a uh, you know that, that could have been costly. Obviously, we that was a mistake, you know, on our part. And um, I'd say you know normally probably just think about taking the delay penalty and kick it. But the way the wind was today, those kicks were, were hard. I mean, I, you know, I know it's from the 15-yard line, but, you know, you back it up now, you're, you know, it's a lot, lot tougher kick. So, you know, we blew a timeout on it. Uh, but thank you. Thank you for reminding that. appreciate that. It's, you know, bad, bad coaching, bad management. But, um, yeah, normally that would kind of be a timeout thing. But based on the way it was, it was I mean, that was a, you know, it was a good kick. Chad made a 49-yarder. And then, you know, you saw what happened on Bass's field goal. I mean, it looked like, you know, one of my five irons. But... Straight to the right, but you know it, it's a tough wind out there today. So, um, but yeah, that was the we decided to take the delay and try to you know make it a little bit shorter kick. Hey, coach, um, just on Pop Douglas again for a second. His skill set, how does that kind of open up things for the other skilled position guys? You obviously set him in motion a lot. He's a guy you have to watch out for. Does that open up opportunities for other receivers? The, the running game when you have somebody that has to be accounted for about like that? Well, I mean, I don't know. Hopefully they account for everybody. I mean, it got to account for Bourne, Hunter Henry, Jacecki, Parker, Stevenson. I mean, I don't know. You have to ask Buffalo about that. I don't know. Hopefully they're accounting for everybody. If not, we should be getting the ball. <laughs> Bill, can you talk about the final drive and what you saw and the final touchdown in particular, what you liked about it? Uh, well, you know, the way Buffalo plays down there, it's, it's really hard to throw the ball in the goal line. They do a real good job of taking the goal line away. You've kind of got to throw behind them into the back of the end zone, you know, with a flag or, a, you know, some type of play, you know, in the back end line type of thing because they're on the goal line. They're, they're really aggressive, and they, you know, it's just hard to stuff the ball in there. So, um, you know, it was a good throw, um, you know, good high throw against that coverage is kind of what you – what you need to do when they play it like that. Now there's some plays where they, they drop back and, you know, play, they play a little bit of cover two down there. But, you know, they play aggressively and it's hard to get open and hard to find space. And sometimes the space is behind the defense on the goal line instead of right on the goal line. So, okay. All right. Thank you.